Hello Capricorn, Sun and Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? All right, let's see. Capricorn, we do have the Strength card. We also have the Empress as well as the Ace of Wands. Why do I feel like you're backpedaling? This to me kind of feels like um, like an overall energy of you essentially backpedaling, but I'm also kind of getting like an overall energy of you kind of getting cold feet. I'm also kind of getting that um, as well. Why? I have no idea, but um, in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship it just it just kind of looks like things are starting to get like really serious here capricorn between you and whoever it is that you currently find yourself connecting with you know it kind of looks like you go from going with the flow here to then all of a sudden falling into this energy of like ooh, i don't know if i can do this i don't know if i can do this like there's like a level of holding back uh coming from you there's like a level of like you kind of getting cold feet um, is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here um, in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship. I don't feel like you're hesitating because you're kind of second guessing yourself on whether or not this is what you honestly want or not. Um, I, I don't feel like that's the reason why you're hesitating because it's pretty evident to me that this relationship is what you want. This person is what you want. So I don't feel like you're hesitating because you're kind of questioning, you know, whether or not this is something that you want or not. I feel like you're hesitating for other reasons. So I'm kind of curious as to what those reasons are uh, in regards to like why you're kind of hesitating in regards to why you're kind of getting cold feet um, all of a sudden. So let's look at the strength card. Tell me more about the strength card for Capricorn. Alright, nothing wanted to come out at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the nine of wands, we got the seven of swords, and then we also have the queen, not the queen of pentacles, we got the nine of pentacles, my apologies. And then we also have the uh, judgment card out here. Okay, I feel like the main reason, yeah, I feel like the main reason why you're kind of hesitating and like, um, getting cold feet all of a sudden uh, when it comes down to this connection that you currently find yourself in which does appear to me as a connection that's getting very serious here um, between you and this person um, yeah I feel like the main reason why you're experiencing all of this has a lot to do with like past traumas that you've experienced and you know previous relationships okay um, it doesn't really have I would say anything to do with this person uh, that you currently find yourself connecting with it has more to do with your past and very little to do with um, this person right that you currently find yourself connecting with you know Capricorn now that I look at it I feel like Throughout your involvement with this person that you currently find yourself connecting with, I feel like you've definitely overcome a lot. Um, I feel like you've grown a lot on top of that. And I also feel like you've healed um, quite a bit. Granted, you know, there's still some things, you know what I mean, that you need to kind of like heal from um, and, and make peace with and, and, and overcome. But I just, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you've definitely healed quite a bit and overcome a lot of things. Um throughout your involvement here with this person. I feel like this connection has definitely helped you um, heal, grow, and, and evolve, but also, you know, make peace with, you know, a lot of things that you kind of struggled uh, with making peace with on your own is kind of what I'm getting. So it kind of looks like more than lightly when you got with this person, um, you know, you've, you've definitely experienced, um, you know, things from the past, you know, resurfacing back up here for you, making this relationship between you and this person very challenging and difficult for you. But I am definitely proud of you because I feel like even though this relationship between you and this person was, you know, definitely not a walk in the park here for you because of all the stuff that was, you know, coming up to the surface for you that has more to do with your past and very little to do with this person. Um, you know, I feel like you were very determined to see the connection through. I feel like you were very determined to, you know, overcome any obstacles uh, that you were being faced with. And in return, I, I feel like it's, like I said, I feel like it's helped you grow and, and evolve and, and heal quite a bit. 
I'm not really worried about this level of hesitancy coming from you. I'm not really worried about um, you experiencing like this cold feet all of a sudden. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I just kind of feel like, um, I just kind of feel like this is just something else. You know what I mean? That you need to um, overcome. This is just something else that you need to kind of, you know, face. Um, but like I said, Capricorn, I do kind of feel like all of this is kind of stemming, you know what I mean? Like from your past, like the fear of like, yeah, it, it has a lot to do with like the fear of, you know, things not necessarily working out right um, between you and this person in the end that kind of has you worried and concerned. It has a lot to do with, you know, the fear of, you know, this person like, you know, abandoning you in the end, you know, it has a lot to do with that stuff. Um and I feel like that's what's kind of coming up to the surface here for you. It's like the more things get serious here between you and this person, the more invested you become, the more scared you start to become, the more you start to wonder like, damn, like, what if this doesn't work out? What if this blows on my face? What if they abandon me? What if they lie to me? What if they cheat on me? What if they let me down? Then what am I going to do? Um, it's very important, obviously, right, that you continue to see this relationship through because on the other side of all of this lies what you've been wanting and what you've been waiting for. You know, this is one of those situations where you kind of have to remind yourself of what you currently have is what you used to basically want, okay? Um, so let that, I guess, inspire you um, to see this entire situation through, okay? Um, you know, there's a huge possibility that the two of you could very well be deciding to move in together very soon. Um, you know, there's a huge possibility that the two of you could be deciding to get married soon, possibly bring a child into this world very soon. Um, whatever it is that you guys are thinking about, about doing next within your marriage and a relationship with one another um like i said it's something that you genuinely want with them i just kind of feel like um you know you're, you're kind of caught up in the whole but what if this happens and and what if that happens um to kind of get the best of you a little bit is kind of what i'm getting but let's look at this person how does this person currently view this relationship all right. So we have the uh, hermit. We also have the uh, tower with the high priestess. And then we also have the world. Okay. So in regards to how this person um, is currently viewing this relationship with you, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw these cards come out here for this person is I hope that they've changed. I hope that they've changed. I hope that they've changed. Um, hmm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Wands. We got the Ace of Wands. Mm, I see. I see. I see. Um, okay. This next chapter that the two of you are about to start here with one another, don't get me wrong, like it does kind of have them as well you know, very worried and very concerned. You know what I mean? They're, they're definitely thinking about how this could potentially go left and, and affect them in the end. But it's not coming from a place of them being worried that they're going to fuck this up. You know, um, they're more so worried that, to be honest, you're going to start getting into your head about this relationship. You're going to start overthinking things about this relationship. You're going to allow things of the past to, you know, affect you again within this relationship, which could potentially prompt you to run in the opposite direction of this relationship. So they're far more worried and concerned about you self-sabotaging this connection than them self-sabotaging this connection, if that makes absolutely any sense. Um, you know, I just kind of feel like this person's kind of hoping that as the two of you are starting this whole new chapter here with one another, um, that, you know, it'll show you, you know what I mean? Like how serious they actually are, um, about you. And they're just kind of hoping that when you guys do start this whole new chapter that you don't kind of start falling, you know what I mean? Into this energy of overthinking things and, um, anticipating and expecting the worst from them and, you know, self-sabotaging this relationship, you know, things of that nature. Uh, between you and I, and this person may have told you this before, um, they may have or they may have not, but um, this person does kind of like 
view you um, as somebody who tries to like purposely look for things to like self-sabotage, um, you know, this connection here between you and them. Um, so with that being said, are they kind of worried and concerned that that's like, you know, a habit that you're going to take with you as you guys are starting this whole new chapter here with one another? Absolutely. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely. Um, not only that, um, but I feel like... Um, I feel like throughout the course of their involvement with you, um, and I'm not saying this to make you feel bad or anything like that. We are going based off of them and how they're currently viewing this entire situation, how they feel. So just kind of keep that in mind. But um, I kind of feel like throughout the course of their involvement with you, they've been having to essentially pay for somebody else's mistakes, um, for somebody else's wrongdoings is, is kind of what I'm getting. So there's a huge possibility that um, in a previous relationship, Capricorn, you could have been betrayed and or deceived. Uh, by someone who meant a great deal to you um you know that's definitely a possibility but i kind of feel like this person feels like um since they got with you they've been having to basically pay for somebody else's um wrongdoings for someone else's basically you know mistakes but um it kind of looks like you know with the ace of pentacles to the emperor you know from the moment that this relationship started here between you and them it's like they've been all for you right and this connection that they share with you they're very very serious about you um and it kind of looks like they've been trying to like prove to you in many different ways um that they're nothing like this person from your past which they're actually not they're basically like the polar opposite i would say um of this person uh from your past so in other words the things that this ex of yours is capable of doing they're not capable of doing um in other words okay so then there's that true pair situation though between you and this person you're showing up as an empress regardless of your gender and your person showing up as an emperor regardless of their gender so true pair situation for sure you guys are very compatible to one another all right let's jump back over to you how does capricorn currently feel we have the um i feel like this is kind of like a constant like battle um that you constantly find yourself experiencing uh within this relationship and listen you know that's okay you know i feel like um i feel like this relationship between you and this person you know it hasn't been easy for you um whatsoever you know it has really been challenging you know at times for you um and that like i said this has a lot to do with your past and very little to do with the person that you currently find yourself connecting with but with the six of wands coming out here you know that that's kind of telling me that there's times right where you find yourself going with the flow you know there's times where you find yourself really excited uh for what the future has in store here for the both of you and then you kind of find yourself falling into this energy of feeling like you have to be guarded feeling like you have to kind of watch your back here when it comes down to this person and then boom you kind of find yourself falling right back into this energy again of going with the flow you know remaining optimistic remaining hopeful so i feel like this is something that you typically experience quite a bit within your relationship with this person it's like you just have a hard time just going with the flow. You know what I mean? Um, and just allowing things, right, to just unfold um, the way that they're supposed to unfold here between you and this person. Um, and I kind of feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, you're kind of scared. You know what I mean? You're kind of scared. It's like the moment that you notice that you're letting your guard down and you're kind of going with the flow. It's like you immediately come in and check yourself and kind of tell yourself, wait a minute. You know, don't get too comfortable. You know, don't lower your guard down. Bring it back up because you never know anything can happen, you know. Um, listen, dude, no matter how you want to slice and dice this entire situation, you know, you can sit here and be guarded all you want. Uh, you can sit here and um, check yourself, I guess, all you want. What's destined to happen is going to happen, and there's nothing that you can do about it. You know, if this relationship is destined to work out, then it's going to work out. If this relationship is destined to come to an end, it's destined to come to an end. Um, there's nothing that you can do about it. You know what I mean? Um, so, so with that being said, it's interesting because I literally just said this. I want to say in um, Virgo's reading. Yeah, I literally just said this in Virgo's reading. You know, you get to pick and choose who you want to be in this relationship. See, you could be the person that just goes with the flow, remains, you know, positive and optimistic and open and receptive um, to this connection. Or you could be the person um, that 
is just going to sit here and be guarded and constantly look over your shoulder and constantly think the worst when it comes down to this person and this connection that you share with this person. Um, you get to decide who you basically want to be in this relationship and how you want to show up um, in this connection. You get to decide, right? Um, so with that being said, you know, the choice is definitely entirely up to you. But if it's one thing that I will say, Capricorn, is that no matter how you want to slice and dice this entire situation, this connection does kind of require you to take a chance, um, to take that leap of faith um, and, and stop feeling the need that you have to be guarded 24-7. Stop feeling the need that you have to constantly come in and check yourself, you know, because you, you kind of find yourself, you know, realizing that you're letting your guard down uh, with this one over here. You know what I mean? Um, but see, that's the thing, right? Is that I kind of feel like that's something that you're very, very afraid to do. You're like, you're very, very afraid to like take that leap of faith. Um, you're very, very afraid to like take that chance because you don't really know what's waiting for you um, on the other side. On the other side. The bottom of the deck, we also have the uh, Ten of Cups. Um, you know, I feel like your, your happiness is honestly waiting for you. Um, on the other side like I said this is just another thing Capricorn that you're just gonna have to overcome uh, within this relationship this is just another thing dude and um, this is just another thing that you got to overcome here in this relationship you got to learn to take chances you got to learn to take risks even if you don't know what's waiting for you on the other side which I'm telling you what's waiting for you on the other side is you know you're happily ever after but even though I'm telling you that that's what's waiting for you on the other side, I don't feel like that's going to bring any sort of ounce of comfort to you. And I don't, I don't blame you. You know what I mean? If it doesn't, but there's only one real way to honestly find out like what's on the other side and what's really waiting for you. And that does kind of require you to take that leap of faith. That does kind of require you to take that chance. So whatever it is that this person's pushing for, whether it be for the two of you to move in together, bring a child into this world, get married, whatever it is that this person's pushing for, whatever it is that this person wants with you, um, it requires you to take that leap of faith and see where life takes um, the both of you. But I can tell that you have your reservations about it. Um, you know, I can tell that you constantly find yourself, you know, thinking to yourself, but you know, what if this happens and then what am I gonna do? And you know, you, you kind of find yourself doing that, basically. Um, how does this person currently feel? Hmm. Got the Knight of Cups. We also have the World. And then we also have the Ten of Swords. Whatever this new chapter entails, right, uh, for the both of you, yes, it's something that they want with the Knight of Cups, but with the Ten of Swords coming out here, that's that's kind of telling me that this person's kind of scared. They're, they're kind of scared uh, about starting this whole new um, chapter uh, with you, whatever this whole new chapter entails, whether it's y'all bringing a kid into the world, y'all moving in together, um, or y'all getting married, you know what I mean? Like, they're scared. They are scared. Um, this person actually has a ten of swords that says everything is fine, which is basically insinuating that I feel, uh, which is basically insinuating that this person, um, you know, is trying their hardest to like conceal how afraid they actually are when it comes down to starting this whole new chapter with you. Tell me more about the um, ten of swords. There's this song, um, it's by J. Cole. I don't know if it was you guys that I said this to or if it was another Zodiac sign. Um, but yeah, there's this song by uh, J. Cole. I, I believe the song is called Love Me Not. Um, and in the song he says, um, don't quote me on this because it's been a minute since I've heard the song. But um, uh, he says in the song, uh, one day she loves me and then she loves me not. 
that is this person's biggest fear when it comes down to you. You know, there's days where you love them and there's days where you want to be with them and there's days where you don't. And the only reason why there's days where you don't actually want to be with them or even be a part of this relationship has everything to do with your past. And it also has everything to do with the simple fact, right, that this relationship between you and this one, it's very uncomfortable for you. Very freaking uncomfortable because you're facing you're basically facing um yeah you're you're basically facing um the things that you essentially fear uh when it comes down to allowing right a person to get close to you um so for perfect example if you have like a massive fear of somebody basically cheating on you right you might find yourself or you may have found yourself in this connection, possibly accusing them of cheating. You could have found yourself, you know, in this connection, having a hard time trusting them, even though they probably didn't give you a reason to trust them. Um, but again, it's like these are things that you fear when it comes down to a relationship, because that's something that you experienced in a previous relationship. So to let somebody close, um, you know, in to your life. Um, it's just not an easy thing for you to do because in your mind you're thinking to yourself you're putting yourself in that predicament to potentially get cheated on again and you know that in itself is you know a very traumatic experience to obviously have to relive um all over again or even experience um all over again so you know with that being said capricorn understand that you're facing a lot of things when it comes down to you know that you know this fear that you have of intimacy this fear that you have of being in a relationship uh with someone now i'm not saying that everything that you experienced obviously in your past is something that you're going to find yourself experiencing within this relationship here between you and this person which i doubt it um but what i am saying is is that whatever fears you have when it comes down to being with someone I think that you're going to realize for yourself that those are not things that you have to worry about with this person, but it does kind of require you to kind of uh, push yourself um, to see this entire situation through in order for you to see that for yourself. Because I can sit here and tell you you don't have anything to worry about, but, you know, again, I don't feel like it's going to bring you any comfort and I don't blame you, um, you know, if it doesn't. But this is just something that you're going to have to kind of see through so that way you can see, you know what I mean? Like what's on the other side of all of this, right? Um, here's one thing that I will say, okay? Um, I, from the looks of it anyways, I feel like this person has a much higher risk, I would say, of like getting hurt and disappointed by you than you getting hurt and disappointed by them. Um is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Um, yeah, is the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. And it's mainly because Capricorn, like sometimes, you know, if I'm just kind of going based off of the cards that just came out here for this person, you know, sometimes you might let your, your mind get the best of you to the point where it might prompt you to run in the opposite direction, abandoning them in the end, leaving them in the end. You know what I mean? Um, Hell, sometimes you might even allow past experiences that you went through with other people to affect you within this relationship to the point where it starts to become too much, uh, to the point where it does prompt you to run in the opposite direction. And then you end up leaving them and disappointing them and hurting them in the end. You see what I mean? They run a higher risk of getting hurt than you do. Um, so, I don't know, just something to kind of think about, right? What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. I don't like this. I don't I don't like I don't like what you're doing here. Um, whatever it is that this person's pushing for, whatever it is that you guys are about to do next within your relationship with one another. You know, there's an overall energy of you hyper focusing on how all of this shit could blow up in your face and how all of this shit could go left. That's what you're hyper focusing on. And it's like the more you sit there and hyper focus on how all of this shit could have potentially backfire in your face um, and go left. Um, it, it It's causing you to not feel safe right to go off and get married to them or go off and i don't know um 
you know, get a home with them or bring a child into the world with them. Like it, it's, it's, it, it's causing you to kind of fall into this energy of not feeling safe, um, enough to go off and do these things, uh, with this person or this one thing in particular. I'm also kind of getting like a lot of like negative self-talk. Like I can't do this. Nope. I can't do this because like if this happens, you know, I'm fucked. I'm screwed. And you know, if, th if that happens, like, you know, no, I'm going to be screwed. I'm going to be screwed. Like I can't do this. I can't do this. Hmm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the emperor. We also have the three of pentacles. Uh, we have the uh, three of wands and then we also have the sun. You just don't see it. And that's just kind of what it all boils down to. You just don't see that. Um, yeah, I don't think that you see it. I just don't think that you see this. And I feel like it's it's because um, your negative thoughts and the what if this happens and what if that happens and all the past trauma that you experienced that you haven't like fully healed from. Like I feel like it's kind of clouding your judgment to the point where you just you just can't see that you've got somebody here who's willing to like be right by your side every freaking step of the way you know what i mean like they have been from the start like they have been from the start you know what i mean it's like you're so i don't know dude it's like you're hyper focusing on how all of this can like go wrong that is causing you to not want to like go off and do whatever this thing is that, you know, the both of you clearly want to go off and do with one another. <clears throat> it's like you're sitting there like, you know, thinking to yourself, you know, what if, you know, what if this all goes wrong? You know what I mean? Then what am I going to do? What if all of this could honestly turn out better than you can imagine? I, I, let me, let me, let me, let me try to see like if this kind of helps. Um, if, if you kind of like, okay, if you think back, right, on your relationship with this person when it initially started, you know, because of the past trauma that I kind of saw that you had, um, cause you kind of come off to me as somebody who, um, has a massive fear of intimacy, has trust issues. Um, I also kind of feel like, um, which is really unfortunate, but I also kind of feel like somebody in your life made you feel like you weren't good enough. Um, to the point where you kind of walked around carrying that belief that you weren't good enough, that you weren't attractive enough, uh, that you weren't, you know, deserving of, you know, everything that you actually do deserve. Right. Um, that's kind of telling me more than likely that when this relationship did start between you and this person, um, you more than likely took one good look at them and then you instantly thought to yourself, yeah, this one over here looks like a player. This one over here looks like this. This one over here looks like that. Um, and I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like in time it was revealed to you that you're wrong. And the only reason, you know, why it was revealed to you that, you know, you were obviously wrong is because a big part of you kind of felt on a soul level and on an intuitive level that there's a huge possibility that you could very well be wrong about this person, Capricorn. And I feel like that's what kind of influenced you to see this through, right? Because your mind is telling you like, yo, this one over here is a player. This one over here is this, that, and the third, right? But I feel like your soul and your intuition was like, no. You don't got anything to worry about. You don't got anything to worry about. Your mind, but your mind's like, yo, I got everything to worry about, right? Um, and I kind of feel like in time it was kind of revealed to you that you were kind of wrong. You know what I mean? A about this person from the start. You were kind of wrong about this person. And time revealed to you that you were kind of wrong about this person, right? Um, so I guess my question to you is, what makes you think <clears throat> that you're not wrong about this? that it's going to go left, that it's it's going to blow up in your face if you go off and do this thing that this person wants to go off and do with you that you just so happen to want to go off and do with them. Like, what makes you really think that? Because if from the start, you already thought they were the bad guy and it was revealed to you that they're not the bad guy, you know, what, what makes you think that you're not wrong about this? That's my whole thing. Like, what honestly makes you think that you're not wrong about this, you know? What makes you really think that? 
because I kind of, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of feel like you've kind of created this negative narrative about this person just based off of, you know, your past and, um, and you know, all the stuff that you've been through automatically assuming that they're just like your ex or that they're going to do this down the third to you. And then it turns out that they're nothing like this ex of yours. So from the start, you're already wrong about this one. And even then, you know, I kind of feel like, um, you probably went you, you know you probably went as far as to try to like find something right to validate why you feel the way that you feel about this person or why you think the way that you think about this person and it kind of looks like you more than likely um couldn't find anything it kind of looks like if anything it was constantly being revealed to you that you're wrong 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 right um to the point where i feel like you started to eventually come around to the point where i kind of feel like you started to kind of realize all right maybe maybe i'm bugging maybe i'm tripping maybe maybe they're not as bad as i think they are you know what i mean but even then it just kind of looks like you you still continue to remain in this energy of but I'm still kind of unsure though, because you know, who knows, right? Who knows? Maybe I am actually, you know, right about this person. But if time has revealed to you time and time again that you're wrong, like that's what I'm saying. Like, what makes you really think that today, out of all days, you're right about this person? You know what I mean? Like, what makes you honestly think that, you know? And keep in mind, we have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Swords to the Devil. So the Seven of Cups coming out here, that's kind of telling me that there's a bunch of like illusion wrapped up in all of this. You're not basing none of this off of any sort of concrete evidence. You know what I mean? You're just not. This is you just kind of pulling things out of thin air that this could happen, that could happen, this could happen, that could happen, right? And all you're pulling out of thin air um, and coming up with is a boatload of negative things. That, that's all you're doing. And keep in mind, the devil's wrapped up in all of this. So... And I say this a lot in my readings. Um, listen, the devil's going to do whatever it is that he possibly can to prevent you um, from coming together with this person, you know, and it's mainly because the devil doesn't like unity between two people. So, you know, if you could sit here and, and, and alter your perception of this person and make you think, believe and feel, you know, that, you know, if you go off and do this, this shit is really going to blow up in your face. And I don't think you're ready for that. Like, yeah, you know, like that's what the devil's just going to sit here and do. And that's exactly what the devil is basically doing. You know what I mean? He's he's sitting up here trying to basically alter your perception of this person and convince you that if you go off and, and, and get a house with this person or get married to this person or, you know, bring a child into this world with this person, like this is gonna backfire in your face, Capricorn. Like when, again, you know what I mean? I don't feel like that's, I don't feel like that's the case. I don't feel like that's the case. I don't feel like this is going to blow up in your face. I don't feel like, um, you know, you're going to find yourself getting the shitty end of the stick here. I just, I don't. Again, this person runs a higher risk of getting hurt than you do. They just do. Okay. Um, what actions will this person take towards Capricorn or moving forward? Okay, so we have the uh, Seven of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups, and then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Wands, we also have the Emperor, and then we also have the um, Six of Cups out here. This person, um, this person uh, from your past, this, this could definitely represent somebody that you um, have a child and or children with. I am definitely getting that strongly because there's something about your person having to like deal with them to like some capacity, which is kind of making me feel like maybe just maybe, right? Um, this King of Wands is somebody that you have a child and or children with. Because I am kind of getting that. I am kind of getting that. I really like this person, by the way, uh, that you're currently with. Um, granted... Does this person like, you know what I mean? The fact that they had to kind of pay for this one's mistakes. No, they don't like that. But then again, it's like, had you not met this person, you know, had you not went through what you went through with this person, you know, you guys would have never found one another. You know what I mean? So I feel like they're trying to kind of look at the bright side of all. Like, you know what? I don't like the fact that I'm paying for what this fool did, but you know what? 
you know, now that I think about it, had, you know, Capricorn not went through what they went through with this one, had they not experienced what they went through with this one, like, I would have never met them. I would have never met them. And that's true. Everything in life happens for a reason. Everything in life happens for a reason. So, with that being said, um, with that being said, in regards to how this person plans on moving forward, it was one thing that I will say is this. This person doesn't want to experience another failed marriage. They don't want to experience another failed relationship. They know what they want um, and, and who they want, which is basically you and a life with you and a family with you and forever and ever with you. They know that. OK, so with that being said, um, you know, if this person has to, you know, continue right to like deal with these moments that you tend to have right within this relationship as far as like overthinking things is concerned and constantly thinking the worst like then that's just what they're gonna have to you know put up with but this person genuinely feels like you're gonna eventually get over it this person genuinely feels like you know eventually you'll see that this person doesn't really have any sort of intentions of going anywhere it kind of looks like this person has been fighting to keep this relationship between you and them intact and afloat in fact it kind of looks like this person has had to possibly even stop you on multiple different occasions from actually leaving them um so you know then there's that all right um, i do want to see the outcome though of this relationship what's the outcome here between these two All right, nothing wanted to come out, but at the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Death card to the Two of Pentacles, and then we also have the um, Page of Swords to the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You can sit here and, you know, think to yourself, but what if this happens and what if that happens? But you're not going to really know for sure what's going to end up happening um, between you and this person until you kind of see this entire situation through. Like I said, you're being required to take a leap of faith, regardless if you like it or not. You're you're being required to take that leap of faith. If you really do want them and you really do want this, you're going to have to take that leap of faith. No matter how uncomfortable it may get for you, you're going to have to do it. Um, you're going to have to do it. All right. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune to the Death card to the Two of Pentacles um, coming out here, and I was kind of getting that from the start, you know, of your reading. You know, I feel like this connection, um, it is going to drastically change you. But I feel like it is going to drastically change you uh, for the better. You know, I feel like you've already grown and evolved quite a bit. I feel like you've healed quite a bit on top of that. So don't stop now. You know what I mean? Like, don't stop now. You know, I feel like you, you came all this way. You went through everything that you went through, you know, to get to this point here with this person. Like, don't stop now because you know what if this happens and what if that happens you know what i mean don't stop now because things are getting even more serious don't stop now you know what i mean you you've came this this entire way you know what i mean and experienced very uncomfortable moments within this relationship like why stop now just keep going you know what i mean just keep going because like i said it's like what's waiting for you on the other side is happiness joy love unconditional love at that you know with somebody who's in love with you when you see the fool right next to the king of cups this fool that you're with well they're not a fool but you know what i mean i talk like that this one over here is in love with you they are in love with you honey and they're they're kind of crazy about you okay i also kind of feel you kind of drive them crazy too but that's you know a story for another day you know this is what's waiting for you on the other side so don't stop now. Keep going. Um, you know, once you take that leap of faith, um, yeah, once you take that leap of faith, you're going to see. You're going to see that you're kind of freaking out for no reason. You're basically freaking out for no reason. I understand you have your worries and your concerns. I, I get that. But don't fool yourself into thinking you can't go off and do whatever this thing is that you want to go off and do with them that they want to also go off and do with you. Don't fool yourself into thinking that like just see it through it doesn't matter how uncomfortable it gets it doesn't it doesn't matter about the what if this happens and what's that none of that matters you know what i mean if anything you know you should be reminding yourself of what you currently have is what you used to want you know what i mean you should be you know telling yourself what if this could turn out better than you could imagine you know what if because i feel like so far it has so why would it go to shit now you know what i mean like why would it go to shit now you know what i mean this is what's waiting for you on the other side. Just 
see it through and you'll see for yourself. You got to see it through in order to see for yourself. Don't don't back down now, you know, because things are getting even more serious. Don't back. This one ain't going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like this one ain't going anywhere. They don't have any sort of intentions of going anywhere. You got to understand that, you know, you're showing up as an empress. They're showing up as an emperor. This person already feels like they hit the lotto here when it comes on to you. They wouldn't change absolutely anything about you. They love what they have with you. Um, and they wouldn't trade it in for, for the world. They wouldn't. Just like you wouldn't, they wouldn't. You know what I mean? So chill. Just chill. Stop overthinking things, you know? You're going to be fine. Just see it through. Doesn't matter how uncomfortable it gets. Just see it through, you know what I mean? And, and you'll see like what's honestly waiting for you on the other side. And then you're going to reflect back on this moment, Capricorn, and you're going to tell yourself, you know what? I was tripping. And I'm pretty sure you could even reflect on moments now um, where you kind of find yourself overthinking things. You kind of find yourself telling yourself, I can't do this because this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And what if this happens? What if that happens? But you saw it through either which way. And then you, you saw, right, that you were kind of tripping. You were kind of bugging. You were kind of overthinking things, right? That's the same thing that's happening here. Nothing, nothing's changing. That's the same thing that's happening here. Okay. Um, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.